Hello, I'm Ben Stein with American Tackle, and today I'm going to show you how to compare the microwave guides to other guide trains on the market. The rod with the cone of flight begins with a size 30 ring to a size 25 ring, to a 20, a 16, a 12, a 10, and then an 8. The microwave guide rod begins with a size 20 ring, with a secondary 6, then a 6 transition, then a number five running guide, and running guides continue all the way up to the tip. In order to compare guide trains effectively, please make sure that you are using identical blanks, reels, line, and casting weights. In our demonstration, we are using a 2500 size reel, 10 pound braid, and a 3 8 ounce casting plug. Now we're gonna actually do the casting comparison. We wanna start off by casting the cone of flight. When you cast the cone of flight, Go ahead and cast like normal. But while the lure is in the air, watch the line as it leaves the spool and travels through the guides. When the plug hits the water, just set the rod on the dock. Then we're gonna move to the microwave guide rod. Pick up your rod, and when you are ready to cast, back off the power. Try not to cast so hard. Also, elevate your cast upward. You'll feel the difference. Remember, watch the line. Watching the line travel through the cone of flight, you will see the obvious coils leaving the spool and traveling throughout the entire guide train. These coils reduce line speed and increase vibration, in turn decreasing accuracy, distance, and control. Watching the line travel through the microwave guide, you will see the line controlled at the first stripper guide. This control allows for greater line speed, which increases accuracy, distance, control, and eliminates rod vibration creating the smoothest cast possible. Now that you've seen how to compare the microwave guides against other guide trains, try out a set for yourself to see what you think. Good luck out there. 